My best friend, we'll call her Maggie, and I met in freshman year of college. We are now roommates and moved in together two years ago. In 2015, my best friend spent spring break a couple states away and matched with a guy on Tinder. When she came back to campus, she immediately told me about him and how amazing he was and how they only went out to dinner once. This was obviously a lie, but that they were talking 24-7. I got super excited and asked to see a pic. That was the only picture of him that she's ever shown me. Over the past five years, he's literally been her whole world. She talks about him constantly. She always has her nose in her phone. She gets clingy when he takes too long to text back. She's cried to me a few times because she's looked on his social media and seen he was around other girls. My roommate doesn't have social media herself. I had asked a few times why they never met up again and she said that they're both too busy and don't have the money for the trip. I even told her that he could stay with us and that would save some money. He sent presents and even flowers on Valentine's Day every year. They've basically been dating this whole time. So yesterday my roommate picked up his shift at work and was gone. I get a knock on our door and I open it to a guy. He says hi and I give a confused hi and then he barges in and scoops me up into a hug. He starts saying, I thought you were working. I was hoping your roommate was here so I could surprise you when he got back. And I am so confused. I immediately get down and back away and let him know that I have absolutely no clue what he's talking about. My brain can't even process what's happening. Then he looks confused and says, Maggie? And I'm like, no, that's my roommate. My roommate and I look nothing alike, so I'm even more confused. Then something kind of clicks and I think, oh my god, is this the guy she's been dating? So I say, wait, are you Adam? And he gives me a very slow, yes. And I get excited and say, oh my God, I bet Maggie is going to flip out. I can't believe you're here. His demeanor completely changes. He asks me what I'm talking about. I'm Maggie. And I tell him, no, I'm Summer. At this point, I'm completely missing something that he's just pieced together. He just says, holy fuck. And looks like he doesn't know what to say. Eventually, he asks if he can sit down. I invite him in. He then proceeds to tell me for the past five years, he's thought he's been talking to me. Every picture he's ever seen of Maggie has actually been pictures of me. I'm completely dumbfounded and we don't know what to say to each other at first. So he gets out his phone and shows me proof. He has tons of pictures of me saved on his phone and went to their messages and showed me proof that she's been sending them to him. I felt and still feel completely sick to my stomach. I get out my phone and show him the real pictures of her. I tell him that maybe they could just talk when she gets off work. And he's really pissed at this point. I say maybe we should call her first and let her know that he's here. So I do that and she starts flipping out, saying she's not coming home tells him to leave and that she won't talk to him. He calls her and starts yelling at her over the phone. After everyone calms down, she eventually comes home. He's hurt and accusing. She's crying. I'm sitting there awkwardly. She tells him that she's still the same person he's had feelings for and he screams at her, no, I thought I was in love with your roommate. And that completely makes her break down. So I tell him that maybe he should leave for the night and that everyone should have their own space. He agrees and after he leaves, she goes completely psychotic on me and starts throwing shit around the living room. Tells me she hates me. I start crying. It's a mess. I left to stay with a friend and I haven't been back so I don't know what's going on. I feel like I have no idea who the person I'm living with is and I feel weirdly violated. Do I move out? Do I try to call her? She hasn't even texted me once. I don't know how to deal with this situation. 